Scott Rasmussen, president of Rasmussen Reports. He's one of the few political sites that it attacks, uh, that attracts uh, roughly equal numbers of Republicans, Democrats, and uh, independent voters. Uh, Scott, thanks for being with us again. It's my pleasure, Senator. And, you know, the reason we attract all those folks is because everybody can be mad at something we post along the way. <laughs> well, I'm sure that is true. Sure that is true. As uh, I think probably most of our listeners know right now, you are tracking every day. And uh, let's start at the top. What uh, What's the latest with regard to the president? Well, overall, 49% of Americans think uh, that they approve of his job so far and uh, 50% disapprove. But the number who have strong opinions, the people that we're capturing in our uh, uh, presidential approval index, just 29% right now strongly approve of the president. 39% strongly disapprove. That gives him an index rating of negative 10. Uh, and what's happened is since that press conference last week, the number who strongly approve of the president has stayed even, but the disapproved number has gone up significantly. What has happened with regard to the independents, Scott? They are becoming less enchanted with the president. In fact, what we're seeing uh, in all of the polls is Democrats are becoming more supportive and more intense in their support, independents becoming less supportive. And, of course, Republicans have been pretty united in their opposition ever since uh, the stimulus package back in February. Uh, is this uh, is this an unprecedented uh, polarization in terms of Democrats, Republicans, uh, as they view the president here? You know, we have been in a time of uh, very uh, intense polarization uh, since uh, at least the 90s. In fact, uh, you know, we have polled for, for many years on a question of our elections fair to voters, and always about 50 percent say yes. And when a Democrat's in the White House, Democrats say elections are fair and Republicans aren't so sure. And uh, when a Republican's in the White House, those numbers flip. So the, the partisanship is deep. Uh, we're in the Internet era, so it, it takes root faster than it, than it used to. Mm -hmm. What is the latest uh, that you have found out with regard to people's attitude toward the health care legislation that's pending? You know, first of all, it's difficult to measure support for a plan because the plan keeps changing every day. Yeah, there really is no one plan. Right. But overall, <laughs> people are split in terms of whether they like the idea that's being talked about in Congress. Uh, the people who are opposing it are much more intense. But we're seeing a number of concerns pop up. Uh, Fifty-three percent of voters say that they think these plans will increase the cost of health care rather than decrease it. Only 23 percent think it would actually lower costs. Fifty percent believe that these programs will lead to a, a lower quality of health care. Seventy-eight percent say they think these plans will eventually lead to a middle-class tax hike. So there are concerns on, on uh, the spending and tax side, um, as uh, you, know, you would expect from the debate that's going on. Well, it seems like as the time goes on, people are raising more and more issues, as one might expect, because it's a complicated subject with a lot of issues involved. And they're looking at a 1,000-plus a page uh, bill in the House, uh, for example, so new things are being brought up and discussed and attacked uh, all the time. So, uh, well, and, that's, and what we're seeing, you know, people like the idea of reforming health care. There are mm -hmm. things that can be improved. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, only about one out of three Americans says our system today is good or excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, however... Uh, you know, what reform means is different to different people. Exactly. And, and most Americans are generally happy or at least comfortable with the coverage they have right now. They are fearful of being forced to change. They are fearful of raising costs. And the minute you go from the general idea of, yes, our system could be improved and there are things that we can be done, to putting the details on paper and talking about how you're going to pay for it, a uh, lot of room for discussion there. And I suspect the longer that the bills are out in the public eye, the more public opinion will turn against them. Well, yeah, the question that uh, people got to ask is whether or not to cure a hangnail, you need to cut off the end of your finger. <laughs> and uh, I think that's what we're looking at. I think most people look at uh, their uh, their premiums and uh, think that uh, they're higher than they ought to be, and they look at the uh, retirement of the baby boomers and worry about uh, all of that. And they'd like to see people who... Uh, uh, are deserving to to get health care if they if they uh, want it, uh, but uh, there there's there's a lot of ways to address those things other than the one 
that we're that we're looking at, and I think that's those are the chickens coming home to roost. And, and that's exactly <laughs> it. You know, people do think those things can be improved, and there are steps that can be taken. But but when you begin to talk about a thousand page bill and turning around lots of rules, there are concerns. And, and remember that uh, you know people are always skeptical about Congress by a two to one margin. They say that no matter how bad things are, Congress could always make it worse. And until they're convinced that this will not make something worse, uh, there's going to be you know, reservations about the plan. Well, that shows you the inside of the American public. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, what's, uh, how's Nancy Pelosi doing with the folks these days? She's not doing terribly well. 57% have an unfavorable opinion of her, 45% very unfavorable. Uh, in fairness to the speaker, any legislator who gets really widely known tends to have pretty high negatives because they are representing an unpopular institution. She is the most visible representative in Congress, and you know she's presiding over uh, a group that is uh, that's not well regarded right now. And uh, Speaker Pelosi has one other bit of uh, of concern, and that is. Uh, people like Barack Obama, even if they're not sure about his policies, and so they've got to take out their frustration on somebody. Now, real quickly, uh, uh, Scott, your generic poll, Democrats, Republicans. Republicans are up by three points. Uh, it's very close. What we've seen is over the last month, actually a couple of months, support for Democrats has been going down. Support for Republicans has been holding steady. And you wonder why I asked Scott Rasmussen on this show. <laughs> Thank you, Scott, for being with us as always. We'll bring you back even when I don't like your news.